I'm Steve Dale for the American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine. Dr. Sandy Willis is a board-certified internal medicine specialist for small animals, for those pets we have at home like dogs and cats, uh, and a member of the ACVIM, the American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine. Is this somewhere where I go to college? What, what exactly is this? The American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine oversees the, the training and certification and then the continuing education, like we're doing here today, of internal medicine specialists, so small animal, dogs and cats like we talked about, but large animal, so every cattle and sheep and horses and things like that. Um, and so they, there's, there's two kinds of internal medicine yeah. specialists. There's the small, small animal animals. group and then there's the larger animal farm animals, that sort of thing, right. as well as horses. Right, as well as horses, a lot, a lot of horses. And then, and then which it's kind of different, then you have cardiology, which is heart disease, and that could be large and small, although a lot more small animal tends to be these. Neurology, brain disorders, spinal cord disorders, muscle disorders. Seizures. See, seizures um, that we work with practitioners, and we'll talk a little bit about how specialists do work with practitioners. And then there's oncology, cancer treatment, really exploded. Um, lot, we're seeing more, animals are living longer, so we're seeing more uh, oncologic diseases. It could be large or small, but we just don't really tend to treat cancer in large animals. Great question, but we don't. Yeah, now, now these are all folks, you included, who have gone to school for 57 years. Yeah, about that. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like that. So we go to veterinary school, which generally is four years, and then we can set an exam and go out in, in private practice. But then we have the options of doing an internship. For myself, being a small animal internal medicine, it was it, medicine and surgery, but just small animals. You can do large animal medicine surgery. The internship is just kind of introductory year. And then you go on to do a, now it's a three year to longer if you get a PhD. And I did a training program in small animal internal medicine. So that's like 55 years in there. No, it's long. <laughs> in and dog years. Yeah. It's, it's the same sort of thing though, really. As, as a specialist in human medicine, a, a cardiologist. Yeah, they do that naturally. They, they always go on, even in family practice, they'll do more additional training. But at that point, then we work with the American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine to have qualifications. Our training program is certified. We'll have publications, maybe case reports. We sit an exam. It was always a test. Always. And then, and then we get a cert certification that means that we're a specialist, so we can call ourselves a specialist. And there are about how many credited American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine specialists, uh, all these specialties combined around the country? About 2,000, and actually they're worldwide as well. We have a lot of foreign graduates come in to the United States for additional training. And, and there's, there's an, a, a European College of Veterinary Internal Medicine, but the ACVIM is the, the one that certifies the specialists in the United States. And again, a lot of these folks go worldwide. You know, and I suppose the focus to you, the pet owner, as to why this is important is if your dog or cat, for example, has cancer or has heart disease, well, that's all this person who is a specialist does is treat cancer or heart disease or maybe seizures if it's neurology or, or whatever, or maybe an internal disorder, uh, an upset stomach that your veterinarian can't fix. Sometimes it's as simple as that. Uh, the veter family practitioner is, is the person that the pet owner deals with every day and, and they know the pet and the owner really well and they, they're jack of all trades. They do all kinds of things. But like you said, so that upset stomach, fairly easy, there's nothing too complicated or maybe a foreign body is swallowed. But then when it gets more complicated or needs techniques like endoscopy, different procedures, that's when the family veterinarian works with the specialist to, to offer this additional care for the pet owner because then it gets into the realm as who's the best to qualified veterinarian for that pest and some pet and some of these uh, more complicated procedures really require a cardiologist or neurologist that can do MRI or CT. And it's amazing because those neurologists, those heart doctors for our pets, the cardiologists, and the oncologists, the cancer doctors, they can do pretty much now the same thing for our pets that human doctors can do for us, which is incredible. You can learn a lot more about it, and I do mean a lot more, at <laughs> ACVIM, American College of Veterinary Internal Medicine, acvim.org.